Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I got a new video waiting for y'all. Stay tuned. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all, so today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I don't know if y'all remember my sneaker review of the Nike Prestos that I had got a while back. If not, I'll throw up a screenshot of the shoe or a small clip of the video just to remind you guys. But I'm coming back with another shoe video. And this time it'll be a sneaker, I won't say review, Nah, let's call it a review because I'm going to try them on feet. I'm going to show you in hand. I'm going to also state the prices if I remember how much I paid for them. I'm going to also tell you where I got them from. Just in case you or a family member have been looking for these particular shoes. So, let's get into it. I don't want the video to be too long. So, let's go. Alright, so, first shoe. Mind you, some of these shoes are not on a thumbnail. So you might think I added shoes, but really these are my newest shoes to my collection. I just forgot to put them on a thumbnail or I didn't have enough space. So the first shoe, a classic. You can never go wrong with this shoe. Never, never go wrong with this shoe. Air Force Ones, all white. GS grade school, size seven and a half. Well, this is not even grade school. Now. Around the time that I was looking for the shoe, where was I going? Was it my birthday? It was my birthday, so it was April. And I was looking for the shoe, and they were sold out everywhere. I couldn't find them. So I went to... Where did I get these shoes from? Oh, I know I went all through the mall. Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, couldn't find them. Um, I even went to Shoe Palace at Dayland Mall. I didn't like how those Air Force look because they had like a cream color to but it. I forgot where I got these from, but I went everywhere and I couldn't find them. But eventually I ended up finding them. I just forgot where. Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, move on. Once I'm done reviewing all the, well, once I'm done showing you all the shoes, I'll actually try them on and y'all get to see on feet and everything like that. It got a couple of creases in them already. I only wore them like once, maybe twice. They already have creases. Y'all know forces you can't, you, you can do all in your power that you can do to not get creases. And somehow you're going to still get creases. So that's that. All right. Next nike hippies now i don't know if y'all heard of these shoes before i don't know have y'all seen these shoes before i don't know but these are nikes as you can see the swoosh on the side these are nikes they're called nike hippies um the inside if y'all can see that i don't know like the back y'all can see that the um thing i don't know um i just was at my local nike outlet one day and looking for some shoes that i can wear to work comfortable shoes that i can just you know put on and i seen these and tried them on i'm like wow like these are comfortable like these are like really comfortable like it feel like you don't have on shoes it feel like you're walking on pillows seriously i'm not joking get you some because these things are comfortable. Um, yeah, so I got it from my Nike outlet and I only paid like $60. And I looked them up and they're like 110. I think probably like from 110 to like 130. If anything, like I said, I upload clips of different research, different prices or different things like that. I don't have the receipt to these anymore, but I could have sworn I paid like 60. It was from 40 to $60 that I paid for these. But these are very 
comfortable i love them i wear them to work very comfortable very easy you know you don't really see any dirt like that you can see it on the bottom because i actually wear them but you don't see any dirt like that so a good shoe to work in all right now i got another one because they're super comfortable like i keep saying so i got another one now as you can see this is in the box this is from nike outlet nike outlet you know the boxes don't have no top to them can y'all see the price right there on the sticker I don't know if y'all can see the price, but the price says $59.99. So I know for a fact if I paid $60 for these, then I paid $60 for those. Now check out the color. This one is lighter. It has the little thing on it. Uh, this one is lighter. This one is like a white color with a gray upper. I'll show y'all this one because it doesn't have the thing on it. Swoosh. It's on the side. It's like a green pattern type swoosh. And then the back. I love the back with the same thing going across. And then the inside is a green inside. Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. Again, comfortable shoes. So when I seen these, I said, okay, let's add to it. Now, this one right here is a seven and a half. No, this is a seven. This is a seven. Um, Men's. If I'm not mistaken, I think I have seven in men's. So the forces is a seven and a half in women's. The other hippies is a seven in men's. And then this one is an eight in men's. So for some reason, when I tried these on, they were a little tighter than this one. Just so I can have them a little longer, I'm going to just go with an eight. All right? Because I realized, as I got older, I realized... Like, when I was younger, I used to try to get the smallest size because I'm like, I don't want them to look big to others. But I realized your shoes or your feet only look big to you when you look down because of the direction that you're looking. You're looking straight down. Of course, your feet is going to look long. But to others, you might you might wear a, a size 9, but to others, it might look like a size 6. And on top of that, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. As long as your shoe fits, your your toes are not balled up like this, or you don't have that much space to where you gotta double your socks. Like as long as your shoe fits, go with it, live your life, be happy. Yeah. Okay. So moving on. Here come the Jordan. Next shoe. Now I don't really know the the real name of these. Um I'm going to call them the Red Flints. I think that's what people have been calling them. So that's what I'm going to call them. But, um, yeah. The Red Flints. So I got these, I'll say, for my birthday, too. I think this was another birthday gift to myself. I went in Shoe Palace looking for the forces. Couldn't find them. Seen these sitting in the window. Like as you walk past and they got them on display on the window. I seen them and I said, hey, do y'all got, do y'all have these in a seven? These are a seven. They brought them. I tried them on. I said, let's do it. Um, Do I have any more 13s? I think this is my first pair of 13s. If not my first pair, then my only pair as of now. I don't think I, I don't think I have 13s. Hold on. Okay, I got fives, I got ones, I have three pairs of twelves, I have sevens, which are now my workout shoes, so I don't even count them. Um, I don't have any more fours, I need some fours, I need threes, I had twos, they got too small, so I gave them away. Um, never had tens. Never had, no, I had nines, but I messed them up and I miss them so much. The Baron nines, oh my God, one of my favorite shoes. Um, do I have 13? Oh, I have the black and white 13s with the gum bottom. I forgot. Okay. All right. So this is my second pair of 13s and I love them both equally, but my favorite color is red, man. So you already know how I'm rocking with these. I haven't worn these yet at all. Like at all they haven't been worn 
next year. Now, I don't know if you guys watch the WNBA. Probably don't. You should. They're just as good as the men. And they do their thing just like the men do. It's a new day and age. Yeah, they balling too. Now, one WNBA player in particular, LA Sparks, number two. Second year pro, Taya Cooper. I follow her. She signed to Jordan Brand, so of course she gets shoes like all of the Jordans, period. No matter just no matter who it is. Travis Scott, no matter if it's flights, whatever. She get every Jordan shoe sent to her house. And I follow her. So I was on her stories, watching her unboxing. They sent her a big box. Watching her unboxing, and I seen this shoe. And I said, what are those? I never seen those before. Never even heard of those. And then like two days later, that's when I started seeing pictures of them float around. So I had to grab them. Now, I didn't buy these. These are a gift from my sister. She asked me what I wanted. I went on Flight Club. And there they go. So this is the shoe. Jordan Low 1. Now, this is my second Jordan 1s that I have in my collection as of now. Lowe's. The other ones are the high top or the mid top, yin yang, the white pair. So I have those, but here's my second one. Flight Club, shout out to y'all. They wasn't that expensive either. Could y'all guess how much it was for my size? This is GS Boys 7. They were only $100 plus tax. In shipping, I'll say like 112 maybe. I don't know. I don't know how they do their tax and stuff, but it was literally only a hundred and something dollars. Like, that's not bad at all. So yeah. And do y'all see the material? Do y'all see the detail? Do y'all see the detail? Y'all see that? Like what? You see the tongue? What? The little Q. I think they're called Ace of Spades, by the way. But the little Q, and then this one has the K. Like, these shoes are dope, for real. Really, really dope. $100. Size 7, between a 6 and a 7. So, big shoes like Timberlands, I wear a 6 because they're big. They're heavy. You don't need to get a seven like it's going to be big i'm going to have too much space on the sides and in the front and plus it's going to be heavy so i always get a six from that and i have confirmed because i went to champs and i tried on some timberlands as of recent like last week i tried them on just to see what size will i need now because the last time i had timberlands was like three years ago what size do i need now in timberlands confirmed it still a six so those type of shoes i get a six now um shoes that run small like the hippies y'all know nike running shoes or running shoes period they run small so i had to get a bigger size which is a seven in one and an eight in another but they're like women's or men's sizes if i'm not mistaken it's not kids it enforces i couldn't find them so i had to get women's but i had to equal it up to the size that i wear in men's slash boys um, and then the Jordans, true to size, seven. Instead of getting a six and a half with Jordans, I'm just going to get a seven. That way I can have them. Um, but those fit good. Well, that's a seven too. Okay. So now, I went a little different. Y'all know we're in October. November is right around the corner. And these are some boots that I've always wanted. I just, every time I go to the mall and I say, okay, I'm going to get those shoes, I skip over it and go to Jordan. When I was younger, it was just Jordan, 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 Jordan. Forces, Timberlands, Jordans, Jordan, Forces, Timberlands, Jordans. Always wanted other shoes, but will always go to Jordan. So now that I'm getting older, I'm trying to expand, trying to tap into different things. So I have Adidas, I have Nikes, I have Jordans, I have um I'm still expanding, so I don't I don't think I have anything else other than that. But I'm trying to get like um 
you know, branch out into more designer and stuff like that. But we're going to get to that later. So let's get into it. And these are an eight. So again, these run small for me. So I had to go up a size and get an eight. So hold on. Let me get both of them together. Get both of them together. Always love these shoes. Now, the regular girly boots, the high top with the bowls on the back, I want those too. But those going to have to wait because I always wanted this one the most. All right. I always wanted this one the most. Didn't got the fur in the inside. If y'all can see that. Y'all can see that right there on the side. Yeah. All right. So I haven't worn these yet. Um, it's not winter yet. So I think I have an outfit for it that I got from Aeropostale. I think it will be great with it. It's kind of a, a, a brown Timberland color, but... I think it'll still pair up well with this with this color. So I think I'm gonna wear that when I don't know, but sometime in the winter. So that's that. Alright, and that's it. That's all that I have right now. Um Um I'll say around 2018, 2019, I stopped getting shoes as much as I used to because life was happening college and other things um so it kind of like pushed everything back when it came to getting shoes but now that i'm in a better place i think i'm gonna start back coming around to get shoes but like i said i want to expand more adidas more you know like new balances i don't know the name of the new balances but it's a new a new um model that they have of new balances that i love um yeezys i want some yeezys but oh my god it's, it's so hard to get them um the slides the regular slides I'm trying to get those and then the newer slides that they got that look like crocs i'm trying to get at least one of those um and then some regular yeezys i'm trying to get too so i'm just trying to like expand but it's gonna take some time because I'm not in a rush for it. But once I do get some more shoes added to my collection, I will show you guys. Now, it's time for the on feet. So I'm gonna do that for you guys. But I also wanna know, like, do y'all wanna see a video with all of my shoes?